In the next few minutes, we're going to easily show you how you can convert your old vehicle into an electronic distributor. Here we see a converted electronic distributor. Now if I take that off, now we're not going to lose it either. All of the points and that junk's gone and replaced with this, which is a little circle that apparently has got a magnet in it and as it spins around it goes flick, 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 flick and you can see that there is a little magnet doohickey and a little receiver brick thing and basically this is fairly similar to one of those Pertronics kits or electric ignition conversion kits that you can buy on eBay quite cheap actually it makes this do stuff that equals spark through there and all the way into the engine which creates magic the thing has a black and a red wire off it, which basically are your positive and negative, and you would run them down to your coil. Now, at this point, we're going to move to a different car that's got a stock setup, so that you dads and guys can actually see what to change. So here we have a stock distributor setup for a Datsun. Don't worry about which Datsun, this is just another Datsun. Underneath there, you'll see points and some wiring, and it basically runs off a big lead that goes all the way back over here and over to this. Every ignition coil is going to have a positive and a negative. Once you've identified them, and they will be written on there, you can then take the red and the black lead from your new electronic distributor unit and run them from these all the way down and then back into the distributor. By then, all of this junk will have been cleared out and you will have followed the instructions that are also included with the distributor to help you out along the way. What first thing you want to do, measure the resistance off this point to point by taking it out of the car and putting it on a multimeter or similar device. Once you've ascertained that this is in fact pulling 3.9 ohms, which is what I would recommend to run a electric distributor setup on, you can safely bypass this, which is as simple as taking that lead and connecting it to this lead without this thing, the ballast resistor. You would then have an unresisted system, no longer suitable for points, but with plenty of fire ready for electronics. Any extra diodes or small pieces like this thing, for example, which on my setup is actually connected over here, you can take them out because in your electronic system, you're not going to need those anymore. So you see, it's not really that hard. You should be able to do the whole thing in about half an hour. Just follow this simple wiring diagram and you should be fine. Thanks for watching.